chorus. I just oh here it is. Okay, the straw man. I, I don't me no think him is what you think him is, man. And if you don't know what I just said, then I really feel bad for you. I, uh, I just love the irony of a man wearing a T-shirt with the famous famous L B L G B T Q. Sorry, I should be able to read that one on, icon on it. While spewing vitriolic hate, you should, vitriolic hate. I was at pains to really say I'm not hating you in that video um, against the community and more of your marvelously, amazingly astute use of Latin uh, to to make your point. So here's my question. That's my question. Here it is. I got the shirt on. All right. Now, I am a comic book fan. I am a nerd. I like cool stuff. I was not a Deadpool fan. Didn't really know him at all till the movie. Watched one movie. He was a guy. He liked a girl. The movie was largely about that. So I need to be filled in here. It's possible, given the, the the nature of the comic book universe, that there are multiple timelines and all this multiverse. It's just a way for them to keep writing stories. So it's possible there is a, a version of Deadpool in which he is a famous LGBTQ icon. I'm not aware of that, but if that's true, I'd like to know that. I'd like to know where. Otherwise, I'd like to know what is he talking about. Is he just referencing the rainbow and the unicorn? Is that what, is, or is it the sword? Wrong side. Is it the sword? Perhaps it's the sword. Because because here's the thing, and I, I it's not really high enough for you to see. Is he on? Does he have clouds? I see. Oh, I moved my mic. That's how cool I am. Here we go. Can I see it? What's it? Yeah, clouds. Rainbow and clouds. Where did? Oh, I took the whole thing off. That was impressive, Jonathan. I thought it just came out of a little hole. Hold on. For you on the podcast, this is um, why we do it this way, is so that you can have joy. And, oh, turn the sound down for a second. It's like, what's going on? You have to really be wondering what's going on if you're listening to this. <laughs> all right, and now it's all off. So, here's the thing about the rainbow, right? It's a Christian symbol. And it has been for... Mm, like, I'm going to pretend I'm a liberal atheistic scholar right now, okay? At least 3,000 years. At 2,500? Nah. Now, I'm going to say it's more like mm, five and a half thousand? Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay, so that's that. And then the unicorn, strangely enough, is also a Christian symbol. Symbol for Jesus. Yeah. Jesus himself, unique. Is it from the Bible? No. No, but it was used by the medieval church, came out of the early church somewhere. Uh, C.S. Lewis wrote a poem about it. Now, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's so that's, that's the thing. And here's the thing too. So a guy on a white horse with a sword and a rainbow around him riding on the clouds. Guess what that also is? Oh, you didn't know? It's, it's, it, it's Jesus. Yeah, so I am making the argument that dead ma- <laughs> Deadpool Deadpool is Jesus on my shirt. No, I'm not really making that argument, but but I am going to say to you, I'm not so sure you can attack me for thinking it's a cool shirt. I, you know, and and then say that I'm ironic. No, 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 that I'm a straw man. I mean, don't think him is what you think him is. Um, I will try to remember after this live stream is over to put a link below to some sort of Google answer to the the word straw man as a logical fallacy. Yeah. And you can work on that. I'm sure I've made a strawman argument in my life somewhere. I got a lot of videos. You can go find one. You can point it out and we can talk from there. Sounds cool, right? But what I want from you viewers. Okay. Now I'm going to kind of, I'm going to look here. I want to know it, where is Deadpool and L a famous, famous LGBTQ symbol, or is he simply referring to the unicorn with the rainbow thing? Okay. So um, my computer's a little far away and I can't see our comments as well as I would like to. So we're going to see here. It looks like, don't say guys. What? What? I'm not allowed to do that. Sorry. I'm going to do it, guys. Mm. Man is universal for all people without being about males. And if you're from certain areas of the Midwest in the 50s, that's also true of the word guys. And so... <laughs> That's where I came from, not directly, but indirectly, directly through another person. So I really am not worried about it, but we can talk about it. Uh, evidently, Deadpool 2 was the first superhero movie to show an LGBT. Oh, thereby making Deadpool a famous icon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love.